Hey everyone, what is up? It's Glim. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you doing? Let's get into some tea, some drama. Now, there is so much going on with tea, with drama, with the whole Free Britney situation as well. There's loads going on. But this video, of course, we're going to be covering a little bit about Trisha Paytas, Jeff Wittick, and also Ethan Klein. Go! The tea! Woo! The drama! It's crazy. It is crazy it is popping off here there and everywhere and i'm trying to keep up with it so bear with me there will be another gabby hannah video coming what i'm gonna do is do an update at the end of her series probably because honestly there's a lot that's going on with that right now some of it i'm personally finding very triggering so i'm choosing to cover the trish and ethan stuff right now and we're gonna get into gabby maybe in a few days or so, see how it goes with the rest of our series. I don't know when that is going to end, but we'll see how it goes and I'll be bringing you an update on that shortly. So let's jump into this one. Trisha Paytas. Woo! Trisha got cancelled. Paytas is at it again. Now this time, after all the frenemies drama with Ethan, all the back and forth that Trisha had with Ethan recently. Trish is now apologising to Ethan. But a lot of people are taking Trish's apology and saying, oh my god girl, was she reading a script? The apology didn't look genuine. Does she mean it? So a lot of people are kind of pointing at this apology and saying, oh Trisha's looking down a lot. Is she reading notes? Etc, etc. Now, honestly, when I watched the video for myself, I did notice that, the looking down like, you know, like she was reading a script. I did pick up on that. But I'm like, you know, is this Trisha saying that she's going to start this Enemies podcast? Is this just more kind of trolling or is this actually something that she's going to keep doing every Monday because she said oh I like to get glam on a Monday and that's just what I do because I'm used to going to frenemy set and filming so do we think that Trisha is actually going to do this this enemies podcast upload it every Monday I don't know I mean it was pretty much just her sitting there in her bedroom although she was all glammed up and everything she looked gorgeous but I'm like, damn, do we need this? Welcome to episode number one of my new podcast, Enemies. Enemies films every Monday and comes out on Tuesday because I lost my job hosting Frenemies. <laughs> and I can't just break the habit of getting glam every Monday and talking shit. <laughs> Not talking shit. It's telling, it's speaking truth. It's speaking truth. And so I don't know if this will be a weekly thing. I'm really just messing with you, but I don't know what it is about Mondays and just putting on the facade, putting on the Trish glam. Like I'm not really sure what it is, but I just feel feisty. I think all throughout the week I'm just like I'm chilling. I want to draw, and then like Mondays come around and I'm like it's on. So yeah, this is the podcast enemies where I just make enemies because. That's just what I do, and I guess I own up to this thing. Disclaimer, I actually don't want enemies, but I was talking to my glam squad this morning, my friends, they're also my friends, whatever. We just talk, and they're talking about how when people are like, how's Trisha in real life? Is she drama in real life? And it's so funny, because it's like, I really don't, <laughs> I really don't feel like I'm the drama. Am I the drama? Maybe I'm the drama. I really don't think I'm the drama. I really just like, I, I, I really just like hold my ground. Like if someone says something about me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna defend myself. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I don't just randomly pick beef with people or bring up stuff from 10 years ago that like didn't even happen. I mean, you know what I mean? I feel like it's like, I try and hold weight. Anyways, I think this is gonna be like hard, I don't know. The first thing I wanna talk about is, I really only have two topics. Honestly, I really wanted to make this like an hour long, like let me sit and have a podcast, but I just don't care that much about how much. I actually don't care about this at all, and that's why I'm gonna watch it with you guys for the first time. So I had seen all week, not like a lot, but people just like, Jeff Whittick totally shaded Trish. Ooh, oh. <laughs> and I just like laugh at that because Jeff's like a little puppy dog. Like he always like acts all time. Like that's why I thought it was so funny. Go throwing it back to the Starbucks incident of it all. Um, I thought it was just so funny because that was that the reason I even pulled that story is because of how like, oh, he has like, oh my god, we're all scared of Jeff. One thing about this Jeff Wittick situation, Jeff Wittick has now gone back to vlogging with David Dobrik. 
David Dobrik was of course the person who was responsible for Jeff Wittick injuring his eye and nearly losing his eye. Also David Dobrik was you know responsible for that whole scandal that the vlog squad were in where unfortunately a girl was r-worded and you know Jeff it was alleged that Jeff Wittick actually went and bought alcohol for underage girls all that whole scandal so Jeff Wittick has now gone back to David Dobrik which is disgusting you know why would you go back to somebody like that after they've nearly taken out your eye and killed you in an accident that strikes me as really really odd I'm like I can't get my head around that one that's weird so the Jeff Wittick thing Jeff Wittick came for Trish calling her a rat because she was making multiple YouTube videos as she does you know and they're not short videos they're usually quite long where she's doing things like apologizing to Ethan Klein it's an ordeal you know it's always an ordeal with Trish it's never like a simple 10 minute video it's always like a big drawn out thing she kind of goes around in circles as well in my opinion keeps on repeating herself and all of that and it's like Trish you know you're doing the most again again bless her she looks gorgeous and all of that but I know a lot of the internet is very very fed up with Trish at the moment yeah you know she's also had this drama with Gabby Hanna there's been a lot going on with Trisha Paytas recently as soon as Gabby kind of started uploading her series this little thing between Jeff Wittick and Trisha Paytas popped off and then also Trisha decided oh I'm gonna apologize to Ethan Klein so people are calling it out and calling it fake for that reason because it looks like Trisha is trying to sort of snake her way back in and get in people's good books after all the previous drama with Trish and Ethan it looks like Trish is kind of looking to use Gabby being in trouble as some kind of redemption arc for herself the part where Trisha said that she was being threatened by Jeff somebody responded saying no one cares if Trisha truly felt she was being threatened she'd go to the proper channels to deal with it like law enforcement not run to the internet or cry wolf for sympathy points she's using it to be manipulative and the fact that people don't see that is ridiculous the shade oh my god well what do you think let me know what you think about that do you think that Trisha running to YouTube and saying oh my god Jeff Wittick is threatening me is yet again Trisha trying to be a little bit manipulative almost like the hair by Jay situation if you guys remember when Trisha got in drama with Jeffree Star's wig stylist hair by Jay she also claimed that hair by Jay was coming to her house taking pictures of her car number plates and all this kind of stuff honestly I think that was Trish talking out of her bum a little bit looking back on it at the time it seemed like Trish was you know being real about that situation but now looking back on it I think that was Trish kind of creating a bit of drama stirring it up a bit exaggerating the situation as I do kind of think that she's doing this with Jeff Wittick as well but Ethan Klein now Ethan Klein has of course moved on since Trisha has gone from frenemies Ethan's moved on and he's now doing the families podcast instead of frenemies with his mum honestly I watched it I love his mum I think she is hilarious his mum came for Gabby Hanna and also Trisha and honestly I agree with what his mum said she compared them both to each other and said oh well aren't they kind of the same people honestly that is what I have been saying on social media because to me Trisha and Gabby are very alike and that's why I think they clash that's why I think they butt heads because I do think they're very similar with the trolling and also the way that they try and manipulate people with their words their actions you know I do think they're very similar to each other so honestly I'm here for Ethan's mom calling Trisha and Gabby out watch the drama and I mean, this girl, Gabby Hanna, yes. reminds me, am I allowed to say, say whatever the you, name say whatever's in of your heart. The, the girl who must not be named? It can be named. She reminds me so much of Trisha. Wow. The two of them are just two peas in a pod. Right. This is great. I love hearing my mom describe this because the two peas in the pod, in what ways are they similar, would you say? Drama, lies, mm. um, fabrications, mm. um, just causing problems mm. and setting people up basically to make their lives miserable. Wow. But in Trisha's defense, and there's a sentence I thought I'd never be saying, 
fact, <laughs> I think Gabby is worse because there was an really? incident where she spread malicious gossip about yes. Tricia based on something someone told her, right. and that became a fact. She, said that, she said that Tricia had STD. She said she had she herpes. Said she had genital herpes. Right. Yeah. Oh, a, a, the infamous genital herpes rumor. Well, she kept calling it yeah. an uncurable well, yeah uncurable uncurable, uncurable std well, which uncurable. which is actually makes it because like you, well, you're like uncurable. is she talking about like hiv right 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 is she, she made it sound worse than than curable doesn't mean fatal right right so incurable std right you know so i've got a, i've got a uh incurable std from uh well this is going to sound inceptive but i think it's funny i've got an incurable std from ela his name's Theodore. <laughs> I love him, though. So he's not a disease. Just My angel. Yeah, he's the best. He's my angel. <laughs> anyway, so I think that put uh, uh, Gabby lower on the scale of Lying horrible about YouTubers Trisha's than Trisha. Right. Because mm. they didn't even know each other. And, you know, that video was so old, Trisha was even kind of thin back then. So. Oh, my God. Ouch. Dad. Ouch. What? Ouch. <laughs> You can't say that. Well, you just I guess that's the joy anything. of I guess that's the joy of having my dad. And then we had Ethan Klein. So apart from the Frenemies podcast, which is now Family's podcast, Ethan Klein went on his H3 podcast talking about the fact that Trisha Paytas have made this apology video to him. Also, one of the things that he mentioned in this podcast was the fact that Trisha had put 10 mid-rolls in the apology. Now, to me, if you're going to do that, if you're going to apologize to someone... A, why do you need to make a video? Trish could have gone to Ethan directly and sorted it out, you know, apologised in private and maybe then uploaded a video explaining that she'd apologised to Ethan in private. But no, of course, it's Trisha Paytas. So she put all these ads mid-rolls in her video. Ethan sat through it and was obviously disappointed at having to sit through that to get an apology from Trish. Honestly, I'm with Ethan on this one because if that's your friend and they can't apologise to you directly, then that sucks. You know, it's not a genuine apology to me. If you're going to apologise to someone, call them up on the phone or, you know, go round to their house. You know, Trisha is going to be family with Ethan. You know, she's marrying Hila's brother. So surely go round to their house, say, can we have a chat? Can we sort it out? Can we clear the air? And just genuinely apologize. Why do you need to upload a YouTube video with 10 mid-rolls? There's, there's been a lot of heavy emotions within the family. Because obviously she's engaged to my brother-in-law, Ela's brother. And this has far-reaching far implications with, with Ela's whole family. And it's not been, it's been very difficult. It's been very stressful. And, um... It's nice that she's apologizing now after trying to ruin my whole life. And you know, if this, this is an apology to me, right? It says apology to Ethan. This is my apology. Oh, I watched the whole 40 minute video and I watched all 10 mid rolls. It's like, do I have to watch 10 mid rolls to get my apology? Why do I have to watch 10 mid rolls to get my apology? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mid rolls. If this is an apology to me, why do I have to watch it on her YouTube channel with ten mid rolls? A phone call would have been nice. She has my number. She knows that I'm open to talk anytime. She messed, you know what I mean? And she apologized to the crew. She said previously she doesn't have any of the crew's contact information. I'm sorry, but that's not true. We're all in a group chat on WhatsApp. She has everybody's phone number. She could have called them to apologize. Genuinely, genuinely, if I was Ethan in this situation, I'd be saying the same thing. I would feel hurt. I would feel peed off. I would feel betrayed. Like, if that's your friend and they can't even call you to make an apology after they've done all of that with you about the 5% that was going towards production for frenemies and all of this... All that drama that Trisha was in with Ethan a couple weeks ago, if she can't even call him to apologise, then I think that is really, really disingenuous. Like, that's not a real friend to me, you know? So, guys, apart from that, 
Gabby Hanna. I'm going to slightly address Gabby Hanna in this video. I'm not going to go really deep into it because, as I said in the beginning, I am going to make another standalone video on the Gabby Hanna situation. But Gabby Hanna, in part two of her series, when she came for all the drama channels and tea channels, who she claimed had been exploiting the B Devins situation, when she came for all of them, one of the people that she named was Angelica Oles. Now, Angelica Oles made a response to Gabby Hanna, and in Angelica's video, she actually made some really good points and also said that she'd reached out directly to be Devin's mother. I don't really want to harp on this situation. I don't want to add any more fuel to the fire on this one. But Angelica said her piece, and honestly, I think Angelica... Angelica? I can't speak. <laughs> I'm useless. I think Angelica really did a good job of sticking up for herself and standing her ground on this one because I feel the way that Gabby has come at Angelica has been very much like a bully, if I'm honest. And yeah, you know, drama channels report on what all these influencers do. You know, I'm sitting here talking about people. It's what we do. So for Gabby to come for all of the drama channels, but the way that she's singling out Angelica is baffling. Honestly, I find that really terrible. You know, Angelica, to my mind, hasn't done any worse than any of the other drama or tea channels that made videos about Gabby. So I know that Gabby is mad because Angelica talked about the B. Devin situation. She was the first one really to kind of go back to that video five years ago or whatever that Gabby uploaded talking about this situation so Angelica was the first one to really kind of talk about it so to me it sounds very much like Gabby just has this grudge against Angelica for kind of calling her out and pulling her up on that and because of that she constantly singles Angelica Oles out in arguments she constantly attacks Angelica and I'm like you know Gabby, you need to stop this because it's not doing you any favours. To me, this is like career suicide. This whole series for Gabby is career suicide. It is not helping her out at all. Not doing her no favours. Uh, 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 uh. No. I have been in contact with Bianca Devon's mum and I actually got in contact with her yesterday due to something that I saw on the internet and we have resolved um, things now. Um, she does not want to be involved in drama. She does not want public videos. She does not want people to at her, message her, talk to her about petty drama, mainly to do with Gabby Hanna. That's not what she's here for. She's got more important things to worry about, aka being a mother and also um, changing laws, right? Like she's got more important things to do. She does not want public videos. She does not want tea. She does not want drama. She just wants everyone to remember Bianca and talk about Bianca in a way that is positive in making a change in the world, right? Not in terms of who is doing what and what tea can we spill and what receipts can we show. So when I spoke to her, I asked her if she was comfortable with me showing screenshots of bits of the conversation just to give context. And she said no, because she doesn't want this to then be receipts and drama. So to that to then be used further by other people. So you'll just have to take my word for it. But once I show you kind of something that she posted publicly, my story will make more sense. And I guess it will just make sense why she messaged me what she messaged me. So I will be kind of like, using the messages as a guide, uh, but not really reading them out necessarily. So just kind of have to, you know, trust me on that one. I will be donating the proceeds of this video. I will not be putting any mid rolls on this video because I feel like it just ruins the flow of the video and kind of like it messes up the message of the video. So I won't be putting any mid rolls, which means my CPM will be lower and I'll probably make a lower income from this video, but um, there will be ads before and after. This video is monetized, but all of the proceeds will go to the Bianca Devins scholarship fund. And that will also be in the description, first line. If you want to donate, um, donate, screenshot, post it on Twitter, at me, um, and I will like your tweet and make sure that other people are also following suit. It might inspire people to also donate. Then I'll also be putting the petition as the second link in the description, um, the petition is for changing the laws regarding pictures that can be posted and reposted on the internet, mainly due to the um, history of the case to do with Bianca with very, very awful pictures being posted on the internet regarding the case. Um, obviously, Bianca Demon's mom just wants to make sure that that is not happening to anyone else and that no one else has to go through that. So I will be posting the petition to that. Then in true Gabby Hanna fashion, Gabby of course made a video responding to Angelica. I'm not gonna get into that in this video because this video is already a little bit too long. So 
I'm going to leave this video right here. I'm going to say take care, stay safe, stay well. I will, as I said, be getting into the Gabby topic in a few days or so, but I'm going to stop this one right here. Take care, stay safe, stay well. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do let me know what you think about all the drama. Let me know and I will see you soon. Bye guys.